Hello guys, welcome back. This is your boy Gear Adam Sling. Hope you guys are doing okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are watching this video from, please try as much as possible to like this video, comment, share it on social media platform, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Adam Sling Media. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification to get updates anytime, any day I upload. So guys, uh, well, uh, you already know what's trending yesterday. It's all about Nollywood. The prostitution no let me not call it that the wrongs going on in the nollywood most especially with the females and uh yesterday destiny tico was the scapegoat and uh, it was all because of a car that she recently bought worth close to 40 million naira i don't know if that car is worth close to 40 million but apparently it's worth close to 40 million naira she bought it and uh, she posted it online and then sharing the VED pictures she also wore a bracelet a bracelet that is similar to one to that of uh, a Nigerian billionaire who is happily married with a, with a very stunning cute wife with two kids well uh, people start coming up saying that uh, this Netiko is dating this man secretly and that uh, this man is the sugar daddy to destiny tico and that this man apparently bought her the car well she came out yesterday and she wasn't happy with all these uh allegations and she talked about it well i've already posted about it yesterday about what she said but let us still play it a lot has been going on a lot has been flying on the internet ever since i posted my vehicle i haven't rested and i do not know why i had wanted to keep quiet because of course a clear conscience fears no accusation, but things kept coming up and up as if I have done something wrong. So I am here to clear the air. I don't know this man you people speak of. I don't know him. I have never met him in my entire life. I swear with my life. I swear with everything I hold sacred. In fact, apart from my life, another person I hold so dear to my heart is my mother. I swear with my mother's life. If I have ever met this man, or him giving me any money, or him sponsoring my, 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 my project, or him even buying me a car, let it not ever be well with me and my entire generation. But if not, these people cooking this whole thing up, the blogger sponsoring it, it shall never be well with you all and your entire generation. She said, I have been an independent, hard-working woman all my life. All the hate bloggers, friends in disguise, and even doers sponsoring false news about me all in the me to tarnish my image and trend this is for you all may, may god we we continue to punish each and every one that has anything to do with with since you don't appreciate good things greatness will be very far from you firstly she doesn't really need to apologize for anything yeah she doesn't really need to apologize and one thing i've said before is that do people believe her now that she has come out to verse to talk do people now say okay she's saying the truth well majority of people will not still believe her so my advice to her is that just keep quiet and do you just do you just just forget whatever anybody's saying and yet she said she's not sleeping she's not resting i don't know why you are not resting it's some kind of spiritual effect like uh it's some spirituality pushing you in your dream well just chill but honestly we already know what is going on in nollywood we see the time the whole nollywood struck the new nollywood now and when you talk about the whole new nollywood talk about people like omotola Genevieve, rita dominic uh stefio kuroko and so many other people there and we had the stories of what was happening there and honestly it's kind of like disappointing that whenever they are suspecting one particular actress of getting sponsorship from a politician from a billionaire at first they come out to deny it and later on you will find out that everything is entirely true everything is entirely true well I, me personally i don't see anything wrong with any of them going out there dating but you mustn't lie about it or just simply drive your car you don't need to post about it you don't need to post about it just drive your car you are the one bringing yourself hard to make people be like okay 
how much is this Netico able earning or how much are you earning that you are buying this car? I know it's not people business but people must talk because you are a public figure, because you are a celebrity. That is what it, it takes to be a celebrity. People must talk about you because if people don't talk about you, then you are just ordinary person walking in the street. The only thing that defines you as a celebrity is because people talk about you, it's period. So whatever you do, whatever you are posting online, you should be ready to take the heat as well. We all saw what happened to Regina Daniels, the denier. Me say I was kind of like, I denied it then for her now. Even the Snetico, I'm still denying it, the fact that, I'm still denying it up to today that she may have got herself that car because of her handwork. But I won't be surprised if something happened in the future again and find out that, oh, Someone bought her that car. But you know, Danny, you see what happened. After all the denial, at the end of the day, she ended up marrying a almost 60 years old man at the age of 18. I would be like, wow, really? She did this? <laughs> there are so many other celebrities who have gone through all the stuff. Also, people keep saying that, oh, they don't earn enough money to buy themselves for those things. It's uh, Saba movies, Abba movies. It's not like international movie. You see people, people are actress now. So many majority of Nigeria actress who are really making the big money. Like, uh, Genevieve was paid close to 1 billion Naira for Lion King by Netflix to put it there. And you see Funke Akidele, is our movie becoming the highest gross movie in Nigeria, making close to 600, more than 600 something million Naira. You see all those people, they are producers of themselves. But all those billies, I call those celebrities, all those they are taking in, uh, the Snetico billies, not Nollywood celebrities. They are billies. All those A-list are their Genevieve, Rita Dominic, uh, all those big, big stars. But those who are billies, I believe, me, I believe all her telling that they get paid like 5 million per movie. But a lot of people are telling me that Adam Sling, they don't pay all those people close to 2 million per movie. They're getting paid 500 to 1 million. So guys, please, I want to know, how much do you think they pay somebody like a Destiny Tico and other B-list celebrities per movie? Also on the news is uh, If We Nada. The other day, she posted a very exquisite, beautiful pictures on, the, on her social media. And now, this is what she's saying. She said, so men are stupid. The Lingura pictures I posted have brought a lot of reaction from different quarters, especially Randa useless men who think I'm trying to get their attention. First of all, I can comfortably house and pay some of your bills. The fact that I don't post lifestyle here doesn't mean I'm broke or not making it in life. Some of us just keep working and winning in silence for a reason. Meanwhile, most of the men that make sense aren't even active on IG. Make everybody respect themselves, I beg. Well, she, sp she posted these sweet, you know, sexy pictures online and yet she's saying that she's not seeking for attention. I want to ask this question. Why will a lady or a guy post half-naked pictures online if that person is not seeking for attention? You might not be seeking for attention outrightly, but of course, posting it, you know quite well. People are going to react to it. And yet, you are coming out now telling, calling men stupid, saying that you don't want to get their attention, then why are you posting it online? If you post it online, you know people are going to view, right? People just need to know exactly what they are doing. And of course, Valentine is coming. You already know Valentine is coming. And this is what Reno is saying about Valentine. Before you go out with a guy who wants you to be, who wants you to be his vow. He said, dear ladies, don't be too excited if a man hacks. Will you be my valentine? Before saying yes or no, ask what happened to his last year valentine. If you are not bold enough to ask, do your private investigation. Don't be his disposable valentine. So he's saying that whenever a guy is asking you out on Valentine now, you should ask that person, Alpha, what happened to your last Valentine now? Why are you carrying new Valentine now? What happened to your last Valentine? 
What if your boyfriend decided to surprise you on this Valentine Day by giving you a certificate of sex? Well, well, this can never happen in Africa though. Well, it happened in Europe and other parts of the country, mostly in white land. This girl revealed that my boyfriend handed me this immediately after sex. I'm losing my mind. And the certificate goes like this. Say, Certificate of Participation, Irene F. Merrill best sex of our life third this third day of february in the year 2021 and it's signed on it well uh, if you try this with a nigerian lady your own is finished here's another disturbing story of a caretaker who allegedly killed a police student over house rent and uh, before i talk about this now the caretaker will understand what it means when someone said or your is your case. <laughs> caretaker beating so uh, tenant to death. A caretaker, not the owner of the house. So, well, they say a uh, caretaker reportedly killed police student over house rent. A caretaker of one of the campus hostel at the Federal Polytechnic has allegedly killed a student of the institution. A 20 year first year of the Department of uh, Building Technology was hit with a saw blade on Thursday on his stomach but died Saturday night. On Tuesday on his stomach but died Saturday night, February 6th in the hospital. Uh, it was gathered that the caretaker whose name could not be ascertained has, has been locked up, has, had locked up the water supply because some students refused to pay the full house rent. However, the student who argue that they did not live in the hostel between March 2020 and uh, January 2021 following the scene until long that later opened the tap and fresh water. When the caretaker came back and saw the tap open, he, he proceeded to use the saw and cut open the water pipe. The angry student be began exchanging words with the caretaker and attorney was allegedly stabbed by the caretaker who was said to have also gone ahead to eat the student with a plank. The caretaker was said to have run away immediately leaving the student in pool of his blood. The disease was rushed to a nearby hospital, but he was rejected. He was later taken to a federal medical center. You know, rushed to a nearby hospital. He was rejected. Nigeria hospital always know how to reject patients. <laughs> I don't know why. Then it was, well, he gave up the ghost. This caretaker, Sorry, you think the landlord will fight for you? You're on your own. You are, it's not your house, oh, but you are fighting over it. Well, you will see now. I'm on the opinion that, see, as a boss, please, if you cannot treat another person, child, well, do not employ that person as a maid. Here's another story. Lady walked, lady walking free after maturity, a seven years old house help with pistol, broom, and a mental anger. How seven years old, you are employing a seven years old as house help. You are wicked. That is pure wickedness. I've said this several, if I want to employ any house help, that person must be 14 and above, or 15, even 14 is visible. 15 and above, that person must be mature. What can a seven years old girl do for you? What can a seven-year-old do for you as a Come on, man. This is child abuse. And yet, you are maltreating this, maltreating this girl. It's a seven-year-old girl identified as Okoro is currently receiving medical help after his mistress, Mrs. Uchina, allegedly inflated injury on her during, on her, on her, Injuries on her during a one month stay with her. Just one month old. This girl was taken to this woman to just spend one month. According to source, the victim was taken by her auntie to live with Uchena since her parents are divorced and her mother can't afford to train her. Why her dad doesn't give a, a hoot about her? Mrs. Uh, Uchena eats her severely on her face with broom which made her eyes swell 
She went further to eat the victim hand with a pistol. She flogged her using a mental hunger and wire resulting in marks all over her body. She narrated to the doctor that her mystery allergy poured out water on her, resulting in the bone injury on her back. She claimed that she was deprived of food and water ever since she has been living with her. How can you be this wicked now? People are wicked now. How bad? Ah, human beings. People are wicked. And you will see them going to church, to mocks, to pray. You are wicked. If you have a seven-year-old as a house help, honestly, you are wicked. You can as well pay if somebody says, please assist this girl. And you know you cannot take that girl, that seven-year-old at your child for, for this for, for a little space, then reject that girl. Say no, we rather give that person money than bringing a seven years old to work for you. It's child abuse. You are wicked. You shouldn't be. You should not accept that kind of little girl to work for you as house help. Don't, don't do that if you cannot. Add. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. People are wicked. Honestly, people are really, really wicked. I saw this picture, I'm like, why now? Well, this is wickedness now. This is wickedness. Come on. This is wickedness. It's really painful to see all those kind of things. I'm talking about abuse. A boat driver, you know, there have been so numerous reports concerning boat drivers. This Uber, most especially boat drivers. And uh, this girl was assaulted. She said, today I never knew a guy would beat me in my life. Boat driver, your driver beat me, bust my mouth, bruised me, and stripped me half naked. It went like, it went like this. He was acting corny, passing longer routes. Hi, and my sister were trying to tell him, he's not supposed to pass that particular route. When he came down, saying we are yelling at him that he's capable of killing us where we were, I was shaking and scared. I was trying to keep calm because of where we were before I knew he then handed the trip, seized my uh, my back up bus and was try and was trying to take my sister phone. I tried screaming but there was nobody to help there. Then he was saying we should pay him his fare. And I was like, he should calm down for me to get a ride. My sister was trying to argue, he wanted to beat her, and I was trying to block her what i received next was a blow in my mouth then my mouth started gushing out blood then i ran far away so i can snapchat him and send his car he caught up with me and tried to collect my phone i tried my best to drag the phone with him he broke all my screen bruised all my body and stripped me off naked because i was trying to hold him his t-shirt and all this happened around anthony a guy came to intervene, then he drove up saying there's nothing I can do. Well, that is his face. That is his face. His name is Bernard. Well, <laughs> Lagos, his plate number is not, is not written here. Unfortunately, we have had so many numerous reports. So, both just have to do something about this real fast. If not, you'll be losing a lot of customers very, 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 very soon. Because if any of you try this with me, if you try this with me, <laughs> that with you, or try this with anybody that I know. Well, guys, I thank you very much for watching. It's the boy again. Adam's link. Don't forget to like this video, comment, share it on all social platforms. And meanwhile, check out my other.